Alright, we are scaling the black gate, although I have to find what I'm supposed to scale. Uh Ah, here we are. I keep finding the ladders. Here's a ladder. Climb now, what are you doing? What a fool. Flee, you fools! No, don't jump! Oh, he almost jumped! Stupid camera spun around, screwed with me. There we go. Uh, this I guess I'm climbing? Can I climb this? No. Oh, there's another one right behind me. Alright. I guess that's the hand, right? I have a gift for you. Calibrimore. Oh shit, what's he gonna do? Wrench him from the body, maybe? So Calibrimore, with the one ring, led a giant fight against Sauron's army. Oh shit! Guess he had his wife and kids. I mean, he's invisible. How are you going to stop that? He's invisible and he's not a wimp like Frodo. Look out. Oh, shit. The One Ring saw evil. That's weird. Huh. So of course now he kills the wife and kid. Yeah, of course. Huh. Wait a minute. It's not Sora? That's how he died. Then I don't get it. This is the hand of Sauron. It's not really Sauron. I don't get it. The Dark Lord gave you a second chance to stand by his side. Now I give you no choice. We shall be sealed together in death. So be it. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Oh, I see. What the hell? Whoa. So that's when he became full power Sauron. When he absorbed the Ringmaker. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, you're mortal now, dude. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna kill Sora? Oh, shit. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> I went too far. God damn it. There we go. Got him in the leg. Oh shit! Ooh, right in the friggin' eye. The eye poke. Then in the guts. Tally in my heart. We will be together soon. Forever. Forever. Forever and ever. You'll be together, baby. <laughs> I 
and I'll be there too. Me, Calabrimor, Calabrimor. The Lord is calling us. <laughs> so they get to pass into the afterlife. This is no longer our battle. I tried fighting you. It can't be done. Could you really rest for all of eternity, knowing that you had the chance to stop him, but did nothing? Hmm. A new ring. Uh, I don't get it. Why a new ring? Huh. So he didn't go into the afterlife like he was supposed to. He was able to stay in the human world. The hand is severed gold trophy, by the way. So, I'm a little confused. So, they defeat Sauron, but they know that Sauron isn't fully defeated. He says, it's time for a new ring. What new ring? There was no new ring in Lord of the Rings, so maybe that's not canon? Huh. All right, well, that is the uh, con the conclusion to the game. I'm going to be honest, pretty disappointing. Those five talents were pushovers, and then you have this final fight that's a quick time event. That was pretty, pretty lackluster of an ending, in my opinion. Huh. Well, yeah, some people in the stream chat are saying it. maybe it's its own storyline. They're going to have, like, a, a franchise of games, you know? And I could see that. I could see them doing a, a franchise of different games. Huh. So people are saying apparently there's a DLC coming up that's the real ending. If that's the case, that's fucking really bullshit. Because that was kind of a cliffhanger ending. So what, in the DLC they make a new ring and then they go fight Sauron again and they beat him? So, yeah, people are saying the DLC was already announced. You fight Sauron in the DLC. What the fuck? Are you fucking for real, dude? The ending is in the DLC. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. Seriously? Oh. That is some bullshit. Well, that pisses me off. Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars and you don't get to have the real fight with Sauron? No, some people are saying that the DLC is, a, is before the events of the game. So if that's the case, I guess that's okay. But then again, the ending was very weak. I think this ending is very weak for a game. So here's the thing, let me give you my, my rough thoughts on a game during the credits like I always do. I think that this, this, this game was interesting and it could be the beginning of something great. And what I mean by that is the combat mixed with the uh, parkour aspect with the open world, the amount of side content, the game design, uh, the, the nemesis system was outstanding. I really, really liked the me nemesis system. If anything, that's of course my favorite part of the game. But you pair that with a game where, really honestly, the plotline was pretty bare bones with maybe one little twist in there. The twist with Saruman being involved was pretty neat. But outside of that, I mean, I could pretty much summarize the entire story of this game in a couple sentences. Ranger gets killed by a bunch of dickhead orcs and, and Sauron. Someone else, who, the, the forger of the first ring, who is also dead, finds a way to fuse with this dead ranger in the afterlife and uses his body to fight against orcs. And then at the end, they, they decide that they're going to team up to try to defeat Sauron once and for all by making a new ring. 
That's the plot of the game. And yeah, there's some other additional things in there with that queen and Saruman and that the dwarf who I don't even remember his name and really has absolutely no bearing anywhere on the story whatsoever. The plot's pretty crap, you know? So I think that this, like I said, it's the beginning of something great, right? If, if they take this nemesis system, they refine it a little bit, maybe make it a little better maybe, more variety with the orcs, because let's face it, the orcs were... After a while, after only having like maybe three archetypes of orc was pretty generic. Um, if they took that and they add in a much better story and much better variety of side content, I think this game could be excellent. Or this franchise. So if they do make a sequel and they improve upon a lot of these things, I think it could be amazing. For me, this game was good, but it wouldn't be a game that I would say is game of the year material. For me, I need to have, uh, you know, a combination of different things. I need things that, that is story combined, you know, with something that's groundbreaking like the Nemesis system, uh, combined with everything, you know, it, it hits on all fronts. Like a game that, that really comes to mind, you know, The Last of Us. It was a great third person shooter stuff with a crafting system, with amazing graphics, with great story and voice acting. That was my game of the year pick. This, eh, not, you know what I mean? Close but no cigar. Close, but no cigar, okay? So, I like it. I think that anyone who likes Lord of the Rings will like it. I think people who had a lot of fun with games like Assassin's Creed and uh, Arkham Asylum slash City will like it. And I actually think that uh, the Nemesis system is pretty interesting. But I don't know if you don't like Lord of the Rings and you're not really that kind of combat style fan, if anyone else would say, wow, this is something to write home about, you know? Hmm. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if they what they do with the series in the future. If anything, I am happy that they took the Lord of the Rings franchise and they're doing something original with it, number one. And number two, something that was, uh, you know, pretty epic. Well, you know, a lot of these other Lord of the Rings games that have been coming out, and they're okay beat-em-ups for, like, co-op and stuff, but they haven't been anything to say, you know, blow you away or write home about. And this game could be the one, you know what I mean? Could be the, the, the franchise that puts Lord of the Rings on the map as an ongoing series. So, as the credits roll down, I will have to mention now all the things that I did not get to mention during the playthrough, including Mithril, Mithril, and also Bombadil, Bomb Bombadil, 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 and of course, Jerobo, son of Hamakor, second, third cousin to the wife's sister of Bamba Double. <laughs> all those things I didn't get to mention because they really weren't part of the game. I'm surprised. Like all the Lord of the Rings cliches were like missing from the game. There were no hobbits with their with their their pipe weed. You know what I mean? Like there's all the, the cliche things are missing. <laughs> Pretty weird. Oh yeah, Barlamin Butterfur. Get got poured them some butter ale. <laughs> You shall not pass! <laughs> I think it's a so this game was solid. It was That's probably my best description before I re officially review it, which I will. Is It's solid. It's consistent. It delivers consistently. The ending is a flop. But it does deliver consistent gameplay throughout the whole game. And as, as long as you get immersed in that nemesis system, it's actually pretty fun. Uh, but it's, again, it's, I'm not, wow. There, there, people in the stream chat, someone just said, well, what was a wow moment for Phil? And the answer really is, I don't know if there were, but the best moment of my entire playthrough, I think, was when I was hunting this captain, he was having a feast, and I fucking headshot him from behind. The arrow came out from through the back of his head, popped out of his eyeball, 
in the front and brutally killed him with one shot. Like, I think that was the best. You know? Hmm. So, we shall see. What will they do with this series? Now that they have a game that's probably going to be a hit on their hands, uh, are they going to continue on with this plot line? Will they make more Lord of the Rings games? You know, are they going to make a Hobbit, serious Hobbit trilogy? That's actually something I was surprised at, is that they didn't do Hobbit games that were not Lego. They only did Lego the Hobbit, but not, uh, you know, a serious Hobbit game. So maybe they'll do that now, who knows? God damn these long ass credits. I should have expected this. <laughs> I should have expected this. This is actually uh what was his name? The 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 not the black, the other guy, the fo what was he the foul eater or something? He's playing with bones, he's playing this the bone xylophone. Bup -ba -da -bup 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 -bup. Oh my god, it's still going. Oh. It's still going. Oh, good lord. The platform services team? What? Oh my. The, <laughs> the analytics team. Oh my god. The accountant to the CEO of the company. The guy who does the CEO's wife's toenails. The uh, dog hairstylist of the second grip. Yes. The clown that entertained at the birthday party of the head caterer. They're all in here. They're all coming up here. Come on, here we go. Where's the babies? Developer babies, developer pets. Come on, where are they? I want to see photos of your families. Come on. <laughs> I want to see your, your vacation photos. Can we get those in the credits somewhere? Uh-oh. Okay, so here we are. So, after the credits, there you go. Mission complete. 1,000 experience. Congratulations, you've defeated the Black Hand of Sauron and driven Sauron back to the ruins of Barad-dûr. However, the Dark Lord's shadow remains. Hold back the rising tide of his army by continuing to hunt captains and war chiefs. Rescue the remaining outcasts trapped within Mordor. Discover any remaining secrets and collectibles and complete the legends of your weapons. So basically what it's saying is, uh, you know, all of the side content is still openly available for you to do. As you can see here, we'll zoom out. We still got power struggles going on. Look at this. Muzu the Crafty. Uh, I, what I'm wondering is, what happens if you dominate everybody? You know what I mean? Like, what happens if you actually dominate everyone in the game? All the, all the orc. Does that mean that it's kind of like, well, you rule everything then? I guess so. Huh. So, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Four. The Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor playthrough. Certainly surprisingly good. I did not, I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't hear much about the game besides one article that I had read in EG, uh, EGM, no, in a Game Informer a few months ago, and I had not followed it, so I really had not even really been hearing much about the game, and the fact that the game was as good as it was, 
was pleasantly surprising. It's definitely one that you should check out if you like that action combat style of game. If you want something with a unique, uh, a un definitely a unique game thing in it, you know, this Nemesis system is unique. It's how many games have we played recently where we could say there's something unique about them that was not in another game. That is definitely a fun and unique system that you should definitely check out. And it's definitely worth a play, especially if you are a fan of Lord of the Rings or that style of combat. Uh, give it a look. All right. Thank you, everyone, for a great playthrough, whether you watch this on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming, or whether you watch it live on, on stream on my Twitch TV channel, Dark Side Phil. I definitely appreciate you guys coming by and watching my stuff. Keep in mind, there's going to be tons more stuff coming up in the future. So don't worry about it. Hope you guys will check out the content in the future. Thanks very much for being here, and I will see you later for another playthrough. Peace.